are we doing? We're on. How you doing? <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I am running around like crazy here with about a minute and a half to go ahead. I thought I had about five minutes of time and I uh, I was uh, doing some stuff and all of a sudden I look at my uh, phone just casually, you know, two minutes to air. Oh my goodness. Uh, I do some running to get ready for the show. How are you guys doing? I'm here. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, fear not. I made it. I hope you are doing well out there today. Welcome to Traveling with Bruce. It's Bruce here, frantically setting up his own iPhone as he is speaking to you. Uh, you know, sometimes I've got my act together. Many times I don't. Uh, lots going on here. Um, and yet, not so much. But I've been, I've been busy today uh, just working on a bunch of things I want to tell you about. And I'm just uh, quickly setting up here my uh, telecast. Oh, my gosh. It used to be a lot easier. How are you guys? Um, I hope you're having a, a good day. I hope you're having a good week so far. Uh, here in uh, in uh, Crescent, uh, in Creston, in Crestonville, <laughs> it's gotten kind of yucky out. Uh, it's just not pretty. Um, I thought it was going to be nicer than it is, but it's just not that pretty out. Um, sorry to say. Um, we've got, uh, about, oh, 30 degree temperature here, more or less, uh, nothing to get, uh, you know, all excited about, uh, but, um, we are, uh, you know, we're struggling. Hang on. So I'm still struggling here, folks. One second. Apologize. I apologize. I'm just setting up my chat here so I can talk to you. Uh, little things, just little tiny things. We, um, there we go. We were, uh, we were, um supposed to get like 40 degree temperatures in the next couple of days i'm not sure if we're going to get that now we get it's a little cooler than i thought it was going to get not like i have a blizzard or anything to worry about it's not nothing like that it's something like tragic or, or or horrific or anything like this um it's just you know a little inconvenient just one moment folks i want to make an adjustment here uh, i'm not happy with all my uh as bad as it is i'm not happy with it so i'm just going to make an adjustment here excuse me one sec as i bring myself in yeah it's a little better okay uh, when I get to, the lighting's too close, it's all glary. All you, all you see is just, just you know, bright lights off my forehead. We can't have that. So uh, there you go. Now, have you noticed a couple of a uh, couple of uh, po uh, Christmas cards are up here? I was able to put some that I got over over the holidays up. Fantastic! Uh, I got some more mail. Uh, checked it out uh, yesterday evening, and a, a little more mail arrived. And I uh, want to share that with you today. So I'm really happy about that. And I want to thank some people. Also, want to thank. Uh, Peter Heckema, Peter Heckema, shout out to you. Uh, thank you again. Uh, Peter Heckema made a uh, uh, made a donation to my uh, my channel through PayPal, and I want to thank him for that. Not the first, second, third, or fourth, or fifth time he's done that. I want to thank him as I do any and all of you out there, uh, any of you who are are helping me uh, with donations or or anything like that. I I try to give you a shout out, of course. Uh, my Patreons, thank you out there for you for your support uh, each and every month. Thank you very much. Those of you who are picking up this kind of stuff, traveling with Bruce T-shirts and coffee mugs, thank you. Uh, cheers to one and all. TWB. Not sure if you can see that too well. There we go. TWB. There's my one of my favorite logos. Um, I got about 35 logos for uh, T-shirts, co coffee mugs. If you go to my Redbubble store, pick something up. Hmm. That mug makes that caffeine-free caffeine, caffeine -free Diet Coke taste delicious. Thank you very much, uh, Coca-Cola Company. Um, as far as news goes and, and channel updates, uh, first of all, the channel, um, yesterday I was uh, was off the air. I was, I was sitting at 8,760 subscribers, and now I'm at 8,821. So looks like another 61 subscribers since last night's show have come into the channel. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, welcome one, welcome all. If you have never been here before, uh, you're wondering what is this guy talking about? Uh, what's the deal? I love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations. Love talking about travel as well. Love talking about like travel. Period. Uh, but I do, I do sort of concentrate on cruise ships a lot because a lot of you are very interested in that topic, and, and as am I. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm finding that. Um, more and more people are coming into the uh, channel uh, to discover this information and, and, and uh, enjoy the uh, show. If it's your first time here, sign in and say hi to me. Tell me where are you watching me from? Uh, what uh, what country are you from? If you're uh, if you're not from the U.S. or Canada, and I don't might not recognize your city. What city are you living in or town? 
Uh, what's your high temperature today? Uh, what's the price of gas in your neighborhood? We compare around here. We uh, we constantly ask each other what the price of gas is where we live. Uh, it, it it blows me away the differences in price just within a country, let alone uh, let alone between uh, you know cities and towns. Um, and I noticed yesterday. I think uh, our friend. Uh, one of my, I think Vivian from the UK was letting us know, you know, she's paying, oh gosh, it's got to be close to nine bucks a gallon. It's just ridiculous over there. Uh, we're paying here in, in Creston around three something, a bear, uh, 320 a gallon. Uh, California, it's 299. Texas, a buck 65. <laughs> it's insane. The differences are just, just like this. They're just all over the map. And uh, uh, I like comparing that with you guys. So it just it shows me what the prices are, but also kind of surprises you too, I'm sure. Uh, so thank you for the new subscribers and thank you for signing in and letting me know where you are and where you're watching me from. Say hi to me and the gang here will welcome you into the, uh, to the group. Absolutely. Um, if you have a chance, by the way, folks, if you don't know this, um, I have a, uh, traveling with Bruce, uh, Facebook page called traveling with Bruce spelled with two L's pop on by there between the live shows and check out the, uh, uh, the postings uh, there they they vary from from viewer to viewer, but I have a number of folks who who go on cruises and they post cruise photos, which I love to see. I love seeing photos of the of the places they're visiting. Love to see photos of the ships they're on, uh, pictures on board the ship or of the ship. Anything, love that too, and uh, and welcome you to join the uh, the group uh, traveling with Bruce group uh, anytime you want. Love to have more viewers. Uh, what else is I going to tell you here? Just uh, double checking here. Got some mail yesterday. I think I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to tell you some news of the day. And then we'll do some visiting with people. First of all, uh, I got this uh, postcard here in the mail. Uh, I don't know if you can see this very well. Maybe let's zoom in on it. Here we go. Disney, Disney World. And, and the card uh, is it's uh, very difficult to tell uh, just off of this god awful lighting and this camera on my computer. But it's kind of a a three-dimensional kind of a thingy, you know, you move the card and the images move. Fantastic. It came to me, uh, uh, came to me uh, from Bedford, Texas, and it's Alana and Rafael uh, Zingano. I'm trying to pronounce that correctly. Uh, thanks, you guys. Uh, I've been talking to these two. Uh, they have a YouTube channel. Um, Al Alana has a YouTube channel uh, for sure that I've found so far. And we're talking about doing a collaboration or maybe a live guest shot or something like that. So um, thank you guys for sending me this. And uh, I appreciate it. This will be going up on the postcard wall of fame in no time. And then I got this big envelope right here uh, from one of my favorite viewers, uh, one of my favorite subscribers. And I'm just going to take a quick peek to see if she's here. Um, is she here yet? Because um, she, she usually pops in and says hi to me. Um, but I'm looking right now to see if I can find a, a comment from her, whether she's here or not. And I don't see her here yet. Uh, just pardon me while I quickly whip through here. Um, yeah, I haven't seen her yet, but this is from Greensboro, North Carolina. Sylvia sent me something in the mail today. Um, I will open this today on the air. If she pops in here, I'll open it and uh, and we'll we'll take a look at it together. And I'm I'm excited about this. So, pardon me on that one. So let me just kind of hang on for that. Uh, oh yeah. Also another thing, uh, Sylvan, you just reminded me. Thank you. Uh, those of you out there who are are you know you're watching me here uh, live or you watch my r regular uh, videos that I make, let me know if you see an ad before or during the the video you're watching, my live show or recorded video. I'd like to know. If you don't mind, uh, tell me what what company is advertising on my channel. Uh, I don't see my the ads on my channel that YouTube puts out there because I'm a creator. So if I go to my own channel and hit a video, I just get to see my video. Uh, but I'd like to know if any of you out there get ads. And if so, who do you get advertising to you on Traveling with Bruce? I just kind of like to know who these companies are. just helps me uh, figure out uh, what demographic they're uh, targeting and uh, it's just helping me with my analytics. Uh, anyway, thank you for, for letting me know that you guys really appreciate it. Tell me uh, tell me that if you can. Okay, uh, I did a video about 45 minutes ago. Um, don't know if you guys have noticed it or not. I Probably most of you don't know it. Um, it's a video I did about uh, Princess Cruise Lines. They are refurbishing four cruise ships this year in 2019, and I list each one and talk about that. Um, hopefully you get a chance to see it, uh, check it out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. 
Uh, if you if you want to drop a comment uh, for on that, would be great too. That helps the analytics. Also, uh, if any of you can share the video um, to your friends on uh, Facebook or any other social media, that would be wonderful. Uh, that helps my channel my channel get uh, by get, get promoted by YouTube even more. YouTube loves it when the videos of YouTubers like me get posted on social media sites outside of YouTube. Uh, it brings viewers in from, from the outside world. It shows that I am a positive influence on the YouTube community, and I love to be part of that. So thank you again for any of you who do that for me. Okay, news of the day. Uh, I, I saw an article um, kind of smiling about it a little bit. I guess the, uh, the uh, you know, if, if you're a uh, if you're a uh, homeland security employee out there uh, working in the customs and and area, uh, you, you've seen it all. You, you've got stories. Uh, I could bet you. I bet you that if you're allowed to tell some of these stories, you're probably the life of the party. Uh, although I have a feeling some of the stuff you see, you can't talk about under you know rules of being fired and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, obviously there was an article uh, that uh, landed uh, in the social media pages yesterday and today. Oh, so young, a young gentleman was uh, getting off a ship, uh, an Oceania, uh, Oceania ship, or Oceania Cruise Lines, or Oceania, Oceania. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I, I always want to say ocean, and then I put the IA on it, so Oceania, but it's probably Oceania. Anyway, uh, it's a Norwegian cruise line, high end, high end cruise line that they own, and uh, he, he's an employee of the for, of the company. And he was getting off the ship. I think it's Fort Lauderdale or Miami. I'm not 100 percent sure. It doesn't matter. Anyway, he was getting off the ship, and uh, one of the uh, uh, some of the some of the folks at the uh, customs and uh, and homeland security part, he kind of noticed he was walking kind of funny. <laughs> he had a kind of funny walk, is what the quote was. He had a funny kind of walk. And uh, well, they they had him come into a room for a little uh, enhanced interview uh, coming into the USA, and uh, well, he had on like five pair of underwear, and uh, <laughs> inside the underwear, uh, he had about three and a half pounds of cocaine. <laughs> well, this guy was thinking, I guess he's probably trying to wear a baggy top or something like that, and just come off as a big old you know snowman kind of thing. It didn't work. Uh, He's now a guest of the United States government. They're housing him for free. Um, yeah, room and board for no charge right now. And it could be for quite an extended period of time. Uh, anyway, so I saw that first. And normally I don't comment on stories like that. I, you know, that really is not a cruise ship story. It just happens to be that he's with a cruise line and whatever. But the cruise line is with, ah, there you go. I saw a story today about that company, o Oceania. Oh, yeah, Oceania Cruise Lines, they made a big announcement today for, for them. And this is the announcement that they wanted to talk about. They didn't want to have to comment about an employee bringing three and a half pounds of cocaine from the ship into the USA. They didn't want to talk about that. They wanted to talk about the big news at Oceania, uh, the building out of two brand new cruise ships. They are building, they've decided to build two additional ships to add to the line. And... Um, the ships are coming out in 2022 and 2025, and uh, <laughs> they—that's uh, uh, what they want to talk about. Um, the ships are going to run 650 million dollars each. They will handle 1,250 passengers each. Um, I'm not sure about the cruise size—five, uh, six hundred. I'm not sure. We'll find that out a little later. Uh, they're talking about 67,500 tons in 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 uh, overall weight. Now. Um, uh, to kind of put this into perspective, um, uh, Oceania is 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 kind of a six star line. I'm not sure if it's right right at that level or if it's just below that level. Um, but I'll say uh, to compare this cruise line to say Viking Ocean Cruise Line, uh, Viking Ocean Cruise Line is definitely a six star line as far as I'm concerned. Um, and Viking has uh, 930 passengers per ship. Uh, this one, uh, and it, it, the tonnage on the ship is uh, something like 70,000 tons. So about the same dimensions here, I think. But this ship, instead of 930 passengers, will have 1,250. So that's 25% more people on board, or a third more, actually, if you, you know, 300 more. So it's a third more than the Viking. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to have the same um, crew ratio that Viking will have. In other words, I think... Uh, at the end of the day, Viking has one crew member for every two passengers. It'll be interesting to see what 
we have here in Oceania, will they have one crew member for every two and a half passengers or two and a quarter? I don't know if it'll be for one for two. And I doubt it'll be more than that. I, I, I'm i doubtful. I don't think it's that high a line. But I I got this impression today when I, when I read this story and I saw them talking about uh, 1,250 passengers, I, I kind of went, hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That six-star cruise lines used to have 400 passengers, 600 passengers. They'd only be 450 feet long. They'd have uh, 300 crew member. In other words, you'd have one crew member and you'd have like one and a half passengers. Like you'd have a very high ratio. But it, it, they, they, it seems they're stretching the bar here. And we've been talking about this topic now every almost every week that I've been doing the show live about how the standards are dropping with cruise liners. Um, they're dropping. Um, it used to be you would go on a um, you would go on a carnival cruise and you'd have the midnight buffet. There's no midnight buffet anymore at Carnival. Remember the midnight buffets? Did you remember? Did you remember seeing the Polaroid photos that your mom and dad would bring home from their cruise in the eighties <laughs> or the seventies? You remember James Garner and that actress uh, Meredith something? They used to do the Polaroid commercials, and uh, your mom and dad would have a Polaroid, and they would go on a Carnival cruise in nineteen eighty six or something like that, and that's like the love boat, you know. And they'd come back or Princess Cruise or whatever. They'd come back and they would show you and I photos, and we're just you know we're just young teeny boppers. What the hell do we know as teenagers or or, or twenty something? And we're looking at these photos, and they're talking to us about these incredible uh, you know the incredible features of being on a cruise. It was all inclusive. Uh, they didn't have to brag about being all inclusive. It just was. And uh, they uh, you know how they were serviced and how they were looked after and uh, uh, how everything was just you know first class, including the Midnight Buffet. And uh, the cabin steward took good care of them and uh, uh, room service was included, no extra charge. And you could order extra lobster tail at dinner in the main dining room. You remember that? Uh, all those things that used to be um, standard fare, even on Carnival, it's all gone. It's all gone now. And uh, we've gone the we're playing the airline game. We're playing the airline game. Fees, fees, and fees for what used to be free, you now pay for, and you're getting bumped up every year on that. Oh, well, here, Oceania, I'm looking at this going, you're talking about two $650 million cruise ships, and you're talking about first class and everything else, and all of a sudden you dropped the bomb on me, 1,250 passengers. There was a time where a 1,250 passenger cruise ship was a big ship. That was a big boat now. And uh, that wasn't an exclusive uh, mega yacht or anything like that. Today, 1,250 passengers on a, uh, on a four-star cruise like, a, like a, a Carnival is unthinkable. There would be no way Carnival would have a 1,250 passenger cruise ship anymore. They're coming out now at 4,000. Now the Mardi Gras is coming out at five six thousand passengers so yeah in relative terms in today's market 1250 doesn't sound like a big ship but in the six star luxury market you've kind of uh, you're kind of pushing the envelope here uh even seaborne uh between four and six hundred passengers 700 maybe with expansion uh you know this is uh, this is pushing it so i don't know how this is going to play or i'm sure it'll be nice i'm sure it will be nice but will it be exclusive six star? I don't know about that. There might be too many people for that to be. If you've got lineups to get into anything on a six star line, you blew it. You, you've blown your six star line. That's not what it's about. You don't go to a Ritz Carlton hotel to get a, a ham and cheese sandwich and a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Yeah, you, you don't do that. I'm wondering what's going to happen here. I'm wondering if the standard by Norwegian, uh, they're dropping the standard of six star into the Oceana line by bringing out a big cruise ship like this. We'll have to wait and see. We don't have any photos of what they look like. We don't have any artist renditions yet. We'll get all that stuff. We'll find out what they're going to call them. We're going to find out where they're going to be based and all that will come. But today they just wanted to talk about these two new cruise ships and, uh, and uh, go from there. That's all good stuff. We shall see. I've noticed uh, my friend has arrived. Sylvia is here. 
Sylvia, how are you, my dear? Uh, I believe I saw your name pop up here. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, uh, just hang on here. Yeah, Sylvia Swan is here. Sylvia, how are you, my dear? Um, I got this uh, this envelope came into my mailbox. Uh, was waiting for me last night, and uh, it's from Greensboro, North Carolina. And I wanted to open this on the air while when you were here, so I delayed opening it earlier. So. Uh, inside uh, is this right here. Let me put the envelope away. We have a card here, and here we have a. Uh, uh, a it looks like a towel. And let me take. Let me show you folks what we've got here. I don't know if you can see this okay or not. Uh, it's a North Carolina Christmas, and this is just absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Uh, this is great. Uh, Twelve Days of Christmas by David Price. It says, and on the tag, I'm just looking at it here. Um, and uh, uh, images from 12 Days of Christmas, uh, exclusively from Peking Handicraft Incorporated, San Mateo, San Francisco, California. And we have right here, uh, the first one is a partridge in a pine tree. And then we have here two Wright brothers. So if you can see those two little airplanes there. And we have three Cherokee dancers. Uh, we have four Biltmore uh, visits. I uh, hope you can see that. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to show this off while I'm reading it at the same time. Then we have five uh, golden fiddles. We've got uh, six golfers playing. We have seven uh, chews uh, and cut trees a trimming. Uh, we've got eight Appalachian trail hikers hiking. We've got nine Bull Durham Bulls batting, one of my favorite movies, Bull Durham. Uh, ten cougars leaping and 11 Tar Heels a tapping. And then we have... 12 Blue Ridge Mountains Rising. And isn't that great? Jennifer was tickled pink. She saw that. And like I said many times before, Jennifer cannot believe people send me stuff. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Thank you, uh, Sylvia, so much for this. Uh, uh, and, you know, I, I did get your email the other day. We talked about that. And I knew you'd give me a heads up. Something's coming. And it arrived safe and sound. All is well. Uh, I have here your card. And thank you again for that. Uh, absolutely wonderful uh 2019 so here we go 2019 uh uh bright wishes for a wonderful new year thank you very much for that and then uh to bruce and jennifer wishing you and jennifer a happy prosperous new year uh from greensboro uh north carolina you gotta love that thank you very very much that will will be added to the uh, to the wall for sure and uh that is just terrific so thank you sylvia very much for that it's uh, uh is very much appreciated. We love it. There you go. Um, what else was I going to tell you about? Oh, as far as cruise shipping, the cruise ship business goes, I wanted to um, I just run something by you guys. Um, and you can add to this list if you can think of it, uh, if you want to. Uh, but I was working on this about 10 minutes before I went on the show here. And I wanted to mention this to you because uh, um, I constantly am reading up uh, 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 stories about um, uh, various countries, various cities uh, that are looking for more cruise ships to come to them and some that don't want more cruise ships. I, I'm finding it's kind of a one or the other kind of a thing. And um, I thought I'd read off a list of uh, cities and countries that would like more cruise ships to come by and some that don't want them any more to come by. As a matter of fact, they would like less to come by. And I I thought this is interesting. Is this list going to get larger? This don't come over here list anymore because the uh, the cruise line business is expanding at six to nine percent a year. We have 24, 25 ships being delivered this year alone. Um, they're going to be, they got to go somewhere. Uh, you know, they're not retiring 25 ships. They might retire four or five, but not 25. Um, cities that don't want more cruise ships, uh, they've made it pretty plain. Amsterdam, uh, has made it very plain. Uh, Amsterdam has instituted an eight uh, euro tax, visitor tax for day visitors, specifically cruise ship day visitors. Uh, don't don't even you know you, you come here, you can come to our port and pay the port fees and all that stuff. But every passenger getting off that ship coming into downtown Amsterdam, eight eight euros. We want eight euros from you guys because they're drowning in tourists. I mean, Amsterdam doesn't need the help. Um, I found that interesting, and MSC has responded already, uh, Europe's number one carrier of passengers. Uh, we're not coming to Amsterdam this year. We're going to Brussels. Brussels is more than happy to have us with no tax whatsoever. They'd love to have us come by, and so folks who want to go to Amsterdam will get a bus, grab a bus in uh, Brussels and 
go over 20, 30 minutes to Amsterdam and visit Amsterdam that way, I guess. Uh, the city of Venice. Uh, we're drowning here with you guys. We have 30 million tourists a year coming to town and only five odd million are staying overnight. The rest of you guys are day visitors. We are drowning with you people. $10 a US or is it a 10, 10, a 10 euros, 10 euro daily tax for non-residents to come into Venice. Uh, Venice does, does not want it and they don't want those gigantic cruise ships to go up and down the canals. They want fewer of those although they haven't told them not to come. They haven't said, don't come here. They're just trying to figure out a way. Well, we'll just tax them away. Maybe we can, you know, lower the number of people and ships coming in here by just showing up with this tax. We'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, Sydney, Australia, kind of on off the pot here. What's Sydney doing? Um, every cruise line would like a berth uh, right by the opera house. <laughs> The cruise ships have nothing specific in mind. They just want to be able to put their beautiful cruise ships right beside the opera house because that's where the photos get taken by all those tourists. And uh, you know that every cruise line in the world wants to have its ship right beside that structure to market the bejesus out of that company for all these passengers around the world. Sydney, in the meantime, is going, uh, we're full up, you guys. Uh, we only have that pier down there. We can't get any more space down there uh, in that location. We've got uh, more space available in the old naval yard. We could put you over there. And the cruise lines are going, we don't want to go to the naval yard. There is no beautiful opera house at the naval yard. Uh, not a pretty picture. Uh, and we don't want to have to bus people around to get to the opera house. We'd rather just have them walk off the ship and a quick walk or a quick cab ride. And they're right there. Uh, yeah, so Sydney is sort of in the middle of this. What, what are they going to do? We don't know. It's a big political football in Sydney right now. Uh, Dubrovnik, uh, they don't want any more cruise ships uh, where they're filming the uh, the TV show. Uh, yeah, you guys got to help me. What's the name of that TV show? Uh, oh, for the moment, I've forgotten that. The middle, medieval, medieval show. I should know it. It's Well, theoretically, I should know it because it's the number one show on television. But at my age, I don't watch this stuff. Uh, but anyway, Dubrovnik is drowning in tourists. Uh, who want to see the old city, the UNESCO heritage site, uh, because of Game of Thrones? There it is, Game of Thrones. I knew it comes. That TV show, Game of Thrones. Uh, Dubrovnik is is already put in a uh, uh, restrictions. They put in restrictions as to how many passengers or tourists are going to allow in to the city uh, in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, they're desperate to cut back the numbers there. Those are just a couple of cities that are saying no more. Ah, uh, no, we can't handle it now. One place uh, on the other side uh, where they want more business, um, Liverpool. Liverpool in the United Kingdom, they want more cruise ships coming into town. They're building a brand new terminal lane right in the heart of the city, right downtown, and they are open for more business. Absolutely. Liverpool has figured it out. Oh, my gosh. We get three, 4,000 people coming off a cruise ship for six, eight hours. They spend, spend, spend. We got the Beatles tours. We've got all the sites in the old town of Liverpool here to show up. We got museums. We got it all. So perfect for that. Uh, Dominican Republic, the country of, oh, they figured it out. Dominican Republic, they know. Yeah, we love it. When we build a brand new port for a cruise for cruise ships, they come, they bring in two, three, four, five, six a day, especially if they can bring the ship right to the pier and the passengers can walk right off the ship. Oh, they'll come in droves, especially those Oasis class ships with the five, 6,000 passengers. Oh yes, we are open for business. There's a new port being proposed right now that the government will fund. They'll build it with taxpayer money right from the scratch, right to the completion with museums and water parks and roller coasters and a shopping mall. They'll do whatever you want. We'll build it for you. Just keep them coming because we have got millions of people in this on this island that we have to employ. And a lot of them are very young and we don't want young, restless people. We want young, employed people that turn into homeowners and heads of families. And that keeps everything calm and humming along and cruise ships for as far as Dominican Republic goes, a wonderful source of cash, cash flow. The Cayman Islands, here's one that's in the middle. Cayman Islands, the government would like more business. I'm sitting here going, you got to be kidding me. I used to live in the Cayman Islands and uh, they've got five, six, seven ships a day now coming in uh, or doing, uh, doing, uh, uh, doing uh, lifeboat tendering. Uh, they don't even have a port. 
the government of the Cayman Islands wants to build a dock facility with the piers so that four and six ships at a time can dock right there and the passengers can walk off the ship and go into Cayman and spend, spend, spend. The citizens of Cayman are saying, no, 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 we don't want what we got. We, we've got too many now. We'd want to go down to two ships a day, maybe three and none on Saturdays and Sundays. None. Monday to Friday only. Shut it down. The government's going, oh, we can't shut it down. You Caymanians are so demanding of government services. We need income. and We don't have an income tax on this island. So we got to bring it in from a headcount tax that we're getting from these cruise liners. And so back and forth goes the argument in the Cayman Islands. What are they going to do? Watch it. Keep following it. Uh, another city that wants more business, Hamburg. Hamburg, Germany wants more cruise lines coming in. They're uh, building uh, facilities to house them. Fort Lauderdale, uh, Port Canaveral, and Miami, three cities in Florida, wide open for more business. All the ships you want of home port, we'll take them on. We will spend hundreds of millions of dollars. We will borrow the money as port authorities to make this happen. We'll work sponsorship deals. We'll work industry arrangements. We are open to business because Miami sees it every day. And on certain days, there are eight ships using the port of Miami to offload and pick up the next batch of tourists. The Miami airport loves it. The taxi drivers love it. The bus drivers love it. The hotels in Miami love it. All the restaurants love it because a lot of passengers come in the day before or two, stay a day or two after sometimes. Yeah, it's good business. And these people on cruise ships, they don't vote. They just spend money and leave. It's wonderful. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Canaveral, they know it exactly the same way. Seattle, open for business big time. Seattle wants your cruise lines to come on in, please. Seattle just approved them. $340 million build out uh, to build the fourth terminal for cruise lines. Uh, Seattle is wide open for more cruise business. Brisbane, Australia, as opposed to uh, Sydney, Brisbane is open for business big time. The Australian economy uh, for cruise lines is very good. Uh, it's a very fast growing area and Brisbane wants its fair share and why not? It's a beautiful place. Tokyo, open for business for cruise lines. Tokyo has figured it out too. Airports are busy. Why not improve the traffic at our ports with passengers? They don't pollute that much. They just come off the ships, get on the buses and subways and go out there, come back and leave. It's wonderful. Yes, uh, Tokyo is open for more business. Galveston, Texas, big time. They are open big time. They just announced another uh, port deal. Uh, they are looking to expand that Galveston port a lot. And uh, the country of Turkey, uh, the country of Turkey is paying cruise ships to come on in. Please come on in. Uh, we will pay you. If you have more than 400 passengers, we will give you money for every passenger you bring in. Not the other way around. Turkey is really looking for business badly because they too know we can bring in 5,000 passengers on a cruise ship or three 4,000 passenger ships a day to various ports. We're talking tens of thousands of people coming on the, on the country, taking guided tours, spending all kinds of cash, buying all kinds of souvenirs and leaving. Yes, we need the cash. We need the foreign reserves. Let's do it. Um, Turkey is wide open. So there, there's a sampling of countries and, and cities that are either interested in more or don't want more, want less uh, cruise ships. This list will keep changing. Uh, because the pressure is going to build as more and more cruise ships come into uh, the business. Uh, uh, we've got, I think what's the last count I heard, uh, 128 ships have been ordered from cruise lines for the next seven years delivery. Seven years. So that that is a huge number of new ships coming online. Uh, they're not replacing 125 existing ships. They might be replacing 50 or 40 existing ships. 80 are all brand new and they need to go to their own ports. The pressure is on to uh, find places to go to. And as cruisers become more sophisticated and uh, more experienced, if you've done four Caribbean cruises, you've done four Caribbean cruises. Maybe it's time for a change. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to go to places you've never been before. You'll be looking at cruise lines that might be offering you something that you've never been offered before or destinations you've never been to before. 
here's this list. We'll see how this thing plays itself out. But anyway, there you go. There's a, a quick recap of one and the other. Uh, welcome one, welcome all to the show. If you have any questions about cruising, anything you want me to talk about, by all means, let me know. I'm more than happy to try to accommodate you. Um, I wanna say hi to who is here today and wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, Sebastian Shore is here, he was here first, he said. BB's Fantastic Adventures, hello all. Hi there, BB's and Sebastian. Tom Henry uh, saying, hi, you doing, the guys? How's Sebastian doing? Uh, Tom Henry, 63 Fahrenheit and gloomy in Richmond, Virginia, he says. Gas is at $1.89 a gallon right now. <coughs> I'm off to, to get our W-2 forms in the mail before the 5 p.m. deadline. See everybody shortly after 5. Paul Wilgus, hello, Bruce and all. It's 56 degrees and very cloudy and windy here in Virginia. Welcome, Paul Wilgus. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Peter Heckema is also in the house. Thank you, Peter, again for your uh, your PayPal contribution today. I really appreciate it. Um, hi, Bruce and all. 77 degrees in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Today with lots of sun. Gas holding steady at $1.89. Uh, uh, that's a gallon. Hoping to play some trivia tonight. I will have trivia at 8 o'clock tonight. Thank you for mentioning that, Peter. I forgot to mention it. I'm on again tonight at 8 o'clock with live Tuesday night trivia. Do not miss it. Alan Carter is here from Calgary, 8 below Celsius. How are you doing, Alan? Welcome back. Agnes, uh, New Jersey. Hi, TWB family. Hello, Agnes. Kirk Brunson is here. Hello, Bruce. 43 degrees and cloudy here in New York City. Welcome. The Big Apple is present. Um, Robert Scott was here. Cat Rose saying hi. David Guido is here. Hi, hello, Bruce. Hi there, David. How are you doing, buddy? Juan Catalina, hi Bruce, happy new year to you and your family. Juan, how you doing, pal? Welcome back. Uh, Sherry Ann, Sunsets Travel. Hi Bruce, hello Sherry Ann, uh, Sher Sherry, awesome. Uh, Robert Scott, hey Bruce, TWB family. Agnes, New Jersey, uh, Kirk Brunson, where in uh, New York City are you? I'm across the river. Linda Buffington, hi Bruce and everyone from Reno, Nevada. Hello there, uh, Linda, I hope it's getting better for you there. It was pretty cool the other day. Sherry Awesome saying uh, hello everybody. Um, Agnes, it's yucky here too in Joyzee. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. Hi, Agnes. Uh, uh, Cat Rose, off and uh, off and on rainy here in Sacramento, uh, California today. Juan Catalina, it's 82 Fahrenheit and 72% humidity where he is. Nice. Agnes, uh, hi there, Sherry. Sylvan Forest, hi, Bruce and all. 74 degrees Fahrenheit in Delray Beach, sunny all day. Thumbs ups, everybody. Tonight's dinner is spinach and cheese ravioli with pesto. All homemade should be good. Oh, yeah, I would think so. That will be fantastic the kitchen just got to be just the odor coming from the kitchen got to be awesome that's fantastic man 23 thumbs up so far today as i lean in and take a look uh sherry awesome sunsets uh hi there bb uh linda hi cat uh bb saying hello sherry paul Lugas, hello there Juan. Uh, vivian clark nicholson is here from the united kingdom evening all cold and windy here at 10 4 p.m in the united kingdom uh that was sent about 34 minutes ago and welcome, darling, to the show. Uh, Michael Cruise Lover is here. Afternoon all. Hello there, sir. Juan is saying hi, Paul. Carla Miller is here. Hi, Bruce. 68 degrees in Arlington, Texas. Gas is at $1.67 at Sam's Club. These are good days for gas prices. That's awesome stuff, Carla. Paul Wilga Sylvan, your dinner sounds so good. Robert Scott, 60 here in Pittsburgh. Uh, my wife has just been, uh, you know, not in a happy mood ever since the uh, – the playoffs were finished for the Steelers. She wasn't happy about that, but what can you do? But she kind of kind of liked that uh, Baltimore got its butt handed to him the other day. She kind of liked that. So what can I say? Cat Rose, 52 Fahrenheit, but feels like 57. Welcome, Cat. Uh, Robert Barnes, the first time from Western Pennsylvania. Robert, welcome from Western Pennsylvania to the show, to my channel. Glad you're here. Hope you've subscribed to my channel. Any of you out there who are thinking of subscribing, Please do. There's a button over here that's on almost all the time or over here, one of the two. And, and one of these has a little bell beside it. Click on the bell and uh, you'll be notified. That's a bell notification icon. Every time you hit the, I do a, a video or every time I go live, you will get notified by YouTube. Bruce is going on the air. Uh, please do that for sure. Um, welcome uh, to uh, the channel, Robert from Western Pennsylvania. Glad you're here. Uh, Juan, uh, Catalina, they might uh, bring the... First Costco gas station here. Oh, man, that would be something. David Guido, Bruce, do you know how much the, the Keys by Royal Caribbean is and is worth as it is my first time on Royal? Oh, I talk about the key program. I did a video on that about a month ago. You may want to check that out on my channel. Uh, just just hit the, uh, the section where it says videos and just take a look for that Keys video. You'll see it right there. I explain all the uh, what you get if you take it up, take up the deal. Uh, what you're entitled to have, and so on. 
Um, I think if I recall uh, on a personal level for me, uh, being 63 years of age and not being in a hurry when I'm going on a cruise, uh, with Jennifer and I going on a cruise, say a seven-day cruise, I, I can't justify the cost of the key program for what I would want to want it for. Um, but everybody has their, uh, you know, their reasoning for it. So uh, by all means, uh, double check David on my uh, YouTube site on my channel. Go to the video section and check out the video and, and uh, see what you think. Peter Heck about Bruce. Any news from Robert Brandt and family? They seem to have just disappeared. I haven't heard. Uh, haven't heard anything. Absolutely nothing. Uh, no idea what's going on. Margie Chadwick. Hey Bruce. Uh, saw gas from a buck eighty four. Temperature is fifty six or so. Not too bad. Uh, good gas price. Not a bad temperature for winter. Cat Rose. Bruce. Uh, it can vary area to area here in Sacramento. I bet you it can. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets, 51 degrees here in St. Louis. Margie Chadwick uh, in Bama. Uh, uh, Michael, cruise lover, $1.71 at Costco in Lubbock, 50, cent, 50 here and very windy. So 50 degrees in Lubbock, Texas, $1.71 at Costco. What a price. Uh, uh, the cheapest price I could get for gas on the I-15 between L.A. and here was a uh, two uh, two fifteen a gallon Salt Lake City. That's as cheap as I could get, nothing less than that. Cat Rose uh, hologram, she's saying. Um, uh, yeah, that, that card, pretty cool, right? Um, a holographic postcard, that's what it was, Agnes. Arthur um, Hernandez, uh, hello from Boca Raton, 80 degrees. Arthur, welcome from Boca Raton, 80 degrees. Uh, you got, I'm envious, that is fantastic. Here it's about 30, 32. Uh, we might hit 40 tomorrow. We're hoping it'll get 40. We're hoping for 40. You got 80. Uh, you got to love that. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. 32 days until our cruise on the Oasis. That is going to be awesome, Sherry. One uh, uh, saying station. Um, uh, uh, Kimber Kiss is here. Hello, Bruce. Wanted to show my love and support. Thank you so much, uh, Kimber Kiss, for joining me today. Um, I don't know where you're watching me from, but uh, welcome to my show and my channel and the gang. I'm sure we'll be happy to welcome you in, too. I uh, hope you enjoy everything here. If you have any questions, you just let me know. I'm glad you're here. Sylvan Forrest, I got an... Uh, I got, uh, an uh, I got an ad from American Cruise Line, freshwater boat rides. I don't think so, me hearties. I, I don't sail a snake river. I already have a pet snake. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's got his pet python right in it, around his shoulder on his neck all the time. Doesn't need to be doing that. Way to go, Sylvan. Uh, BB's Fantastic Adventures. Oh, my, Sherry. Lucky you. Agnes, New Jersey, 80. I knew I should be a snowbird. So jealous. Terrence Shaw is in the house. Match.com. How you doing, Terrence? Uh, Tom Henry, Peter Heckema, according to Facebook today, is Robert's birthday. Happy 56th, Robert. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Kat Rose, I saw it. Tom Henry, oh no, Sylvan is grossing me out. Uh, Sylvan Force, it's grossing me out with that snake of yours. Uh, Peter Heckema, thanks for the info, Tom. Paul Wilgus, uh, I get mad for American Cruise Line and one from for travel insurance, says Paul Wilgus. Very interesting. Tom Henry, hi, Juan. Uh, we were just wondering yesterday what had become of you. Glad you're back. Sylvia, hey, Bruce and everyone, 61 degrees and sunny in Greensboro. Very nice today. Fantastic, Sylvia, and thanks again for that gift. Paul Wilgus, hello, Sylvia. Sylvia, hey, Tom and Paul. Uh, Tom Henry, hey, Sylvia. Uh, uh, and and uh, Sylvia's wondering how cats do it. Tom Henry, that that is where my missing underwear is. Laugh out loud. Stolen by the druggie. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. You took some of your pair of underwear and tried, tried to get down there with some, uh, you know what? Crazy stuff. Paul Wilgus laughing out loud. Agnes loved that too. Tom Henry, we have some drug problems on the Epic too. He says, Cat uh, Rose, I am good. Tom Henry, how is your mom? Cat Rose, Cat uh, Rose, she's doing okay. Tom Henry, interesting. The new Oceania is being built by the same builder as the new NCL Leonardo ships. Uh, yep, well, they're the same company. Uh, Oceania is owned by Norwegian, and Norwegian is getting that done. And the uh, Norwegian, the, the, um, the original owner, or the owner up until a few years ago of Norwegian, actually owns the shipbuilding yard that uh, is building out these ships, by the way. Sylvan Forrest, Tom, my python is awesome, not gross. A word of friendly warning for you. If my wife hears you disparaging Lucy, uh, it won't go well for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk badly about a snake. Uh, good to hear, Kat, says Tom Henry. A one. Oh, that means so much. I was busy working, and then the light went out yesterday for half an hour. Oh, man, Juan, so much fun in uh, Puerto Rico. Cat uh, Rose, thanks for asking. Uh, Sylvia, Cat, great. Your mom is doing good and glad you're doing good. Tom Henry, oh, dear, Sylvan first. Don't want that to happen. Juan, uh, Tom Henry, I forgot to say Happy New Year to you and your family. Agnes, New Jersey, disparage. Now, there's a word for you. You don't always hear that word, especially in reference to a python. There you go. That's true. Cat <laughs> Rose saying, hi, Snakey. 
<laughs> Brittany Lockwood. Hi, Bruce and all. Hi, Brittany. How you doing? Dom Henry, thanks, Juan. Uh, Catalina, same to you, too. Cindy and I did manage to stay up to see the New York City ball drop. Agnes, New Jersey, uh, financial channels. We're talking about Polaroid stock today. Um, Golden, way back when, highly rated. Oh, man, that was a time way back in the 70s. Uh, the Polaroid camera was all the rage, although the, the camera came out in the 50s. Uh, but it was until the, not until the 70s that the Polaroid camera really became mainstream. And it was a gift that a lot of people would get at birthdays or Christmas time. And then the trick of it was you had to buy the film, uh, of course. So with any camera, you bought the film. But in the case of the Polaroid, you took a photo and then out came the piece of paper with your photo. You just kind of waved it for a while and waited for the, the chemicals to do their thing. And five minutes later, you had a photo that you had just taken. Instant photography uh, was the popular thing in the 70s and part of the 80s. But by the 90s, it was all over because cameras uh, started to change. The first digital camera came out, and not only did it kill the Polaroid, it killed film cameras. I had a beautiful Canon uh, camera that used uh, 32 millimeter film. Uh, can't buy the film anymore. You can't get it developed anymore. It's all over. Uh, that's the way it goes. Um, Sylvan, Tom, uh, only one word describes my angry wife, Hiroshima. I, I've seen I've seen two atomic explosions uh, in 41 years, and I don't want to see a third one. <laughs> oh man! One, I watched the ball drop here too in Puerto Rico. I watched ABC. All uh, right, on Paul Wilgus, uh, he's laughing. Brittany Lockwood, there is a family YouTube channel that like to watch. They recently did a cruise out of Tampa, a cruise though over New Year's, and were affected by fog on the ship uh, they uh, that they were on. They could not leave port until uh, probably New Year's Day. Uh, yeah, Tampa Bay got fogged in big time uh, a little over a week ago, and it affected a lot of people. Brittany Lockwood, uh, she's saying, yeah, New Year's Eve. They couldn't get out until New Year's Eve. Uh, Cat Rose, uh, too many people. Uh, Linda Buffington took my first cruise in 1983. I remember the Extra Lobster and Midnight Buffets. Folks, tell me, when was the first cruise you were on? What year were you on your first cruise? Do you remember the name of the ship you were on? And do you remember the ice sculptures and the Midnight Buffets? Do you remember those? Uh, let me know. Uh, Tom Henry, Bruce, uh, I received an Oceania booklet in the mail last week for cruises. Ouch, can't afford to cruise on those ships. NCL, NCL sharing our address. Yes, they are. They own Oceania. They own them. So you're getting all the offers from those guys. Yeah. I don't know if you can uh, get any benefits, though, uh, because you're a, a platinum uh, uh, member of Latitudes. I'm not sure how that works. One, uh, hi, Brittany. How are you doing? Paul Wilgus, Tom Henry, I got one of those, too. I looked at prices and, and threw it in the trash, just threw it away. You know, you, you just go to vacations to go.com. You want to see some good deals on Oceania. Any of those brochures that we get mailed to us from Princess or Royal Caribbean, the prices in there are the rack rate prices. We never pay those. You never pay those. You, you go, to a, go to a travel agent. You go to vacationsco.com and see what you can really get those cruises for. And that's what I would do with Oceania if you're interested in taking that uh, ship for a, for a, a cruise. Juan, hi, Brittany. Uh, how you doing? Um, she's saying, doing great. My, uh, the new year has been treating me well, she says. Agnes, Brittany, are you packed for Disney yet? She's going to be getting close. Tom Henry, Juan, I am not a fan of that ABC dude. Steve Harvey has a better show on Fox New Year's Eve. Cat Rose, want to go on the uh, her, her, her Hebertian princess. Hebertian princess, she says. Tom Henry, Paul Wilkins, did you get an NCL envelope today or yesterday? I, I didn't open it yet. One, uh, Catalina, uh, I never heard of Oceana, but uh, you can tell me more. Cat uh, Rose, that is cute. Uh, Paul Wilgus, no, I didn't, Tom. Uh, one, uh, I don't like Fox because they like Trump. Tom Henry, um, one, they are owned by NCL and are smaller and high cruises. Never been on once. Can't say much more. Very expensive cabins. Tom Henry, oops, one, I won't discuss uh, that then. Laugh out loud. Oh, uh, yes, the word. The word T-R-U-M-P, we can't use that here. Brittany, uh, the cruise uh, the family went on was supposed to go to Grand Cayman and Cozumel, and the cruise only went to Cozumel, and the family did a cruise on Brilliance of the Seas. Yeah, because of that fog, they couldn't get out. They had to wait a day, lost a port. Um, Sylvia, Bruce, you are very welcome. Thank you, Sylvia, so much. Thank Again, thank you so much. Brittany, Bruce, if I could find a Louisiana like that, I, I would send it to you. <laughs> thank you, dear. Tom Henry, Jennifer sends out some things too. Uh, Paul will get to see it in Feb. Uh, that's true. Yeah, Jen sent uh, Tom Henry a uh, little cover for his uh, for his uh, unit. 
uh, his computer. Uh, one, Catalina, uh, Tom Henry, no, don't worry. Uh, Steve Stair, uh, hi, Bruce, hi to all. And hi to all. Thank you, Steve, and welcome, my friend. Tom Henry, hey, Bruce, uh, you have not shown off the big-ass RV gift I sent you. Did you open the wrapping yet? Oh, yeah, geez. Tom, thank you for, here we go. Folks, I uh, got to show you something that uh, Tom Henry sent to Jennifer and I, and uh, I've been waiting to do it because, you know, I had to wait for Christmas. Uh, one second here. Uh, let me just we we lean way over here um, and just make sure I got this right. Okay, first of all, uh, Tom Henry uh, sent us uh, two of these. Uh, check these out. Look at this. Uh, th this is a keychain right here. Uh, see that? See, that's Swarovski crystal right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that great? Look at that. That is just, I, I don't even want to touch it. I want to get fingerprints on it. So beautiful. We got two of those, one for Jennifer and one for myself. Uh, here's the one for Jennifer still on the uh, uh, still on the backing that demon. And then uh, the other gift we got, um, here we go, uh, one for Jen and one for me. You uh, slide this open right here, and here we have. Check this out. Look at this. This is so cool. Uh, right here, check this out. Let me see if I get this. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this property or not. I'm going to try, try, try and set this up. If I, if I, if I, oh, yeah, if I click on that, you see that? Okay, if I click on the button here, you see that? That that that's uh, Tom and his lovely wife and the captain of the Norwegian ship they were on. That's all etched in crystal, right into this uh, holder. Isn't that cool? I I can take Tom wherever I want. Uh, Tom and Cindy can go with me wherever I want to go, uh, in the big SRV or or whatever. Uh, you gotta love that. There's the you turn around. It's it's it doesn't matter. You see, here's the side of it, and it's like that, and the front of sorry, the front of it like that. But no matter which way you turn them, it's always the front. So you always see, you don't see their backside. It's it's very smart that way. It's very good. Well done. Uh, really cool, Tom. Uh, thank you so much. We got we got one for each of us, for Jen and I. And uh, uh, we uh, we appreciate it. Uh, really cool. For our big ass RV, there's the other one right there. Comes in this really cool box. Really fantastic. Thank you so much. I would forgotten to mention it. And of course, Tom had already, it's also sent us this right here. This is this is a cruise ship. Uh, this is an ornament for a Christmas tree. This is the Norwegian star, right there. And if I'm not mistaken, Tom, am I right in assuming that the? Uh, there we go. It's sorry for the glare, folks. Like I said, it's you know I'm trying to do the best I can. There you go. It's hope you're not getting seasick because if the ship was doing this at sea, it, it's a it's a rough ride. Okay. <laughs> but this is really great. And look at the top of the ship here. There's the pool. And, you know, there's a pool deck in the back there and, and all that. And this is just absolutely fantastic. I, I just, I love this thing. This is just great. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm jiggling it around so much. Got all the hall artwork on it. It's fantastic. I, I love that. Thank you so much. It's got a place right there. Just beautiful. And and um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Sorry, folks. Sorry for the back of my head. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, you see the... The photo right there, all right, or that that one there where Tom and Cindy are standing with the captain. That's what's etched into this uh, this uh, crystal key thing. This is just great. It's just yeah, I love it. Tom can go with me wherever I go now. And I'm I've always got Tom with me. You gotta love that. Thank you very much, man. That is fantastic. <laughs> and and I appreciate you mentioning it, Tom, because uh, I was going to mention it today when I was doing this uh, Sylvia's gift, and then for some reason I forgot all about it. Thank you for mentioning it. And cheers to one and all from traveling with Bruce here in Creston. Very good. Very good indeed. Uh, all right. Let me catch up with everybody here. Where are we at here? Um, sorry. I got to get, uh, man, uh, where did my, my, all of my, uh, uh, where all my comments went here? Sorry. Uh, my goodness. Um, There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, you've not. Okay, there we go. Finally, I'm back. I'm back on my message. Sherry. Um, hi, Sylvia Swan. Very nice gift. Cool jazz. Hello, Sylvia and Tom Henry. Uh, Tom Henry saying, there he is. How is the hip? Cool jazz. Cool jazz still hurts, Tom. Uh, Paul Lucas, very cool. Hey, cool. How you doing? Uh, cool jazz. Tom Henry, my son, uh, booked today on escape for spring break. Fantastic. Terrence Shaw, do you hear about someone suing Carnival because a relative got too drunk? Carnival serving the person and, and they fell to their death. Uh, I hear about this all the time. Uh, I see stories uh, all the time where passengers uh, get off a cruise, they see a lawyer, 
they tell the lawyer what happened and then they want to sue the cruise line for whatever happened to them. And uh, a lot of these lawsuits are where passengers get injured or in some cases they die and the lawyers uh, will take up some, some of them will take up a case. I can imagine some people go to 10 lawyers before they finally find one because to sue a cruise line uh, for negligence uh, on the high seas is a tall order indeed. Uh, it's a long shot to win in a U.S. court, but if you can win in a U.S. court, you can get a pretty nice high settlement. That's why people try and do that. Um, I read one where the, this fellow, he tragically died while well, the story goes that uh, he had been drinking and uh, drank way too much. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know how exactly he passed away, whether he fell over, over overboard or not. Uh, they tried to sue and they lost. He got kicked out of court. I saw another case where a an individual was uh, drinking too much. Uh, he then uh, uh, had, I don't know, 20 drinks in 10 hours or something ridiculous, uh, blitzed out of his mind. Um, then he went to uh, he went to a restricted area that said, do not go here, crew only, restricted area. Went there anyway, uh, fell down some kind of a hatchway, injured himself, wanted to sue the cruise line for all kinds of damages, got thrown out. Just got thrown out. Uh, even on dry land, you're going to get thrown out when you're doing that kind of behavior. Uh, some people have to take responsibility for themselves, but uh, hey, <laughs> a lawyer working on a contingency, uh, you know, gets a third of the settlement, uh, tries to go for a million dollar settlement, settles for 600 thou. If he wins, he gets 200 grand, the client gets 400. Uh, they think they're happy, they think they're winning, uh, but to win on the high seas, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, cruise lines are pretty well protected from legal. Uh, cases like that. Uh, cool Jess. Hello, Paul Lucas. Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, Sylvan Forrest, Game of Thrones. Thank you, Sylvan. John uh, Lewis, RCL and Celebrity seem to be the main cruise companies to get the Sydney Opera House. Uh, kind of interesting, isn't it? Cool Jazz, uh, Terrence Shaw, the judge threw out the case. Paul Lucas, Cool Jazz, doing okay. Hope your hip feels uh, get, is, is getting the feel better. Tom Henry, Cool Jazz, he's not going to take it, take you with it. Is he going to take you with you uh, on this cruise? So Tom wants to know. Tracy, just stop in to give you a thumbs up, Bruce. Can't st can't stay. We'll watch the replay. Low 80s today in Naples. Tracy, hi, bye, thank you, and uh, I'll catch you later. Cool jazz, thanks, Paul. No luck, Tom. Um, Paul Wilgus, uh, Tracy, don't love hello. Cat uh, Rose, ooh, Larimar. Uh, Tom Henry, cool jazz. Him, uh, as a penalty, he he needs to watch Grandma while you go on a cruise. Laugh out loud. Steve Stair, 38 days and counting till the next cruise. Fantastic. Paul Willis, I agree, Tom. John Lewis, Liverpool will use the old dockyards, and the city center is very close. Right on, John. That's exactly what they're going to do. Tom Henry, uh, Paul Willis, I guess I need to go downstairs and get that uh, NCL mail to see what's inside. I'll let you know in a few minutes. Uh, Paul Willis, okay. Uh, Juan, um, uh, Bruce, I'm, I am loving this uh, cruise news. Thank you very much. Uh, Juan, I'm glad you are, and uh, anyone else out there, I hope you're enjoying it too. Uh, I do the best I can. Uh, how about I got 32 thumbs ups today? Thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. Keep them coming. Cool Jazz, he's a good kid. He gets to, he gets a pass. Now my daughter, uh, different story. Her job, 2015, was to watch Grandma while I went on a cruise. Came off the ship uh, in Sunday. She never, show never showered, and she got sick. Oh, my gosh. Debbie's the daughter's in trouble. Debbie Manuel, sorry it took so long to log on today. I was watching a new ad for a millionaire success habits free live class happening in my area. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, not sure it knows where my area even is. Laugh out loud. Oh, Debbie, I don't know. Uh, Debbie's saying it's raining in Northern California today. Hello, Bruce and everyone. Speaking of Northern California, I don't know if you've, uh, oh, no, I guess you may, may not have seen it. I caught a video today uh, of Paradise, California, and it's, it's raining up there. Uh, that's where the fires were. Boy, could they have used the rain back then, but you know, all those houses that are burned out and now these uh you know these lots are getting rain on them it's just uh, adding insult to injury it's terrible paul look at school jazz that is terrible sherry um uh hi debbie manuel cat rose off and on here debbie uh for rain too she's saying paul look at hello debbie tom henry california is reaffirming it's a sanctuary state crazy governor uh cool jazz i read saint lucia is trying to get more cruise ships in now i wouldn't be surprised if that too is the case a number of caribbean islands want more business absolutely uh tom henry let's send all the folks at the border to sacramento uh debbie manuel hi paul Lucas. uh john lewis speaking to the various 
taxi drivers in Grenada, Barbados, and St. Lucia, as they only have six months of tourists, uh, they have said more the merrier. Trouble is that the ports aren't large enough to accommodate these big ships. That is exactly the issue, John. These, these uh, islands are proposing and are funding the build-out of larger piers to accommodate ships like the Oasis-class ships from Royal Caribbean and the big ship like the Bliss and the uh, the uh, Seaside from MSC, the, the others that are coming. Absolutely. Tom Henry, any rooms available in Chico for them? Tom was wondering. Um, Tom, you're just causing trouble. You're just causing trouble. Uh, cool Jazz, tell me about it, Paul Willis. I was so mad at her, uh, says Cool Jazz. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who he's referring to, uh, or sister, sister referring it to her sister, not looking after his mom. Cat Rose, how are they going to fill them all up? Um, Linda Buffington, uh, Cat Mountains Between Us got a huge amount of snow this weekend. That is good news for California, really good news. Debbie Manuel, Cat, so I know we need the rain, but I am already sick of it. Laugh out loud. Cat Rose, I heard that. I heard that. Cat, yeah, I know. David Guido, uh, the keys good from are the keys good from Royal Caribbean? The key program from Royal Caribbean. I'm not sure if it's perfect for everybody. I doubt it is. There may be a, a key number of people who will want to take advantage of the key program that Royal Caribbean is offering. I would recommend you check out my my video on it. I did a video about that. Um, let's see um, uh, what do we got here. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about Toxic uh, Fieri, what's going on there. Um, uh, not sure what's going on there. Kirk Brunson, Queens here in New York, uh, is where he's from. Lisa Moore, hi, Bruce and all. Hi, Lisa, John. Forgot to say hi from the UK, 1039 and cold. Welcome, John, from the UK, of course. Vivian, uh, evening, John Lewis, UK here too. Uh, David, thanks all. Thanks, Bruce, I will. Juan, uh, John, come visit Puerto Rico. It's nice and warm here. Laugh out loud. Tom Henry, Paul Lucas, the mail was nice. Gold priority luggage tags. I will bring yours. To the hotel for you fantastic tom way to go paul is going that's great cruising with legos hello everybody hey cruising with legos tom henry plus a land concierge phone number to reserve spa meals or meals or spa appointments fantastic um a cool jazz uh, paul and tom uh, traveling in style uh <laughs> you guys tom henry uh might call and get extra pillows uh paul lucas I, I can't wait this is gonna be great uh he's can't wait cool jazz John Lewis, one. I was in Puerto Rico two weeks ago. He's smiling. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, uh, Gregory is here. Hi, Bruce. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Gregory from uh, D and G Explorers. How you doing, pal? John Lewis, one. I loved it. And the Cheesecake Factory. He said he loved Puerto Rico. Paul Wilgus, Tom Henry, extra pillows. Yes, please. Paul Wilgus, hello, Gregory. Uh, hi, Paul. How are you doing, Juan? This is my number one favorite mall plaza, Las Americas. He's saying, cool jazz pillow top. I hope, Paul. Donnell from Ireland is here. Cork, Ireland. Hi, Bruce and all TWB family. Great cruising news. Taking a break from my studying for computer networking exam real soon. Right on, buddy. Way to go. Paul Lucas, uh, Gregory, doing good. How are you and Derek doing? Cat Chat Fever. I'm here, I think. Cat Chat, how are you? Uh, Paul Wilgus, hello, Donnell. Juan, John, what do you have? What did you have at the Cheesecake Factory? Uh, Gregory, we are great. Thank you, Paul Wilgus. Uh, Juan, uh, sorry, autocorrect. Uh, John Lewis, Juan. Uh, something very chocolatey, and it felt very, and I felt very full. <laughs> That's the chocolate cake, of course. Uh, Debbie, hi Gregory and D and G. Um, hi Debbie, how you doing? Um, Cat, uh, Cat Rose, I had a Kodak instant camera. That Polaroid sued Kodak over. Isn't that interesting? Uh, one, uh, that sounds so good. Uh, what you had there at the Cheesecake Factory, Donnell. Hi Paul, shopping at the bit yet? Uh, not too long to go now. Been on many cruises. Uh, Debbie Manuel, doing great. Thank you. Are you guys getting rain down there? Brittany, uh, 2004 Disney Magic, May 15 to 22nd. Sailing was one of my one my one and only cruise. So she was on the her first cruise of the 2004 Disney Magic. What was your first ever cruise? What year was it? What ship was it? Let me know, folks. Tell me. Tell me. <clears throat> Gregory, we <clears throat> we had rain all day Sunday, and last week, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, what's that? Two weeks off and on now. We've had rain. Um, uh, you're welcome, Debbie, for the rain. Linda, the first cruise was on Noy Amsterdam, Holland, America. Brittany, I want to go on more. I was not at all affected by the weather, but my mom was. Uh, Donnell, gas about six bucks a gallon here. Ouch! Mild day with sun in Cork, Ireland today. Lovely for January. Uh, Carl Peterson, new to your channel. First cruise was 2070, uh, 2007 Celebrity Galaxy. I'm trying to say 2070. 2077 Celebrity Galaxy. Yes, I remember the extra food. Uh, Carl, welcome to the show. 
2007 and before, those are the good old days, I think. Still land, first cruise on Royal Caribbean um, uh, Nordic Prince in 79. I remember the midnight buffets with lobsters offered as a midnight treat. Those are the days, folks. It was all-inclusive. Vivian Clark Nicholson, Fred Olson back in the 60s was her first cruise one. Laughing out loud. Gregory, have a good day, everyone. Back to the job. You take care, Gregory. Thanks for popping in. Say hi to Derek for me. Paul Wilgus, take it easy, Gregory. Uh, he's saying thank you. Juan, Catalina Bruce, how was your trip coming back home? Did you fill up the car with Costco? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The I-15. We hit Costco in California. We hit Costco in Las Vegas. We hit the Costco in uh, Salt Lake City and the Costco in uh, Coeur d'Alene. Absolutely. Uh, Chef C is in the house. Hey, Bruce. How you doing? Hello, everybody. Hey there, Chef C. How are you? Brittany Lockwood. No, I have not started packing for Disney yet. We'll wait for the trip. Uh, it's a little bit closer. We'll, we'll be waiting to see if the weather will be like before I'm going. I'm getting stuff for the trip, though. Cool Jazz, first cruise, Carnival Holiday, 1994. Debbie Manuel, Sweet Thomas. Debbie Manuel, hi, Chef C. Kirk Brunson, first cruise, Norwegian Gem, last year. Tom Henry, thanks, Debbie uh, Emanuel. Bruce has the picture that was made from his back wall that has the captain of the star from our transatlantic in April, May. One uh, was saying something. Debbie, uh, first cruise, Grand Princess, 2002. Tom Henry, Debbie Manuel, that was sent before I listened to the big SRV video and had my world fall, had my world fall apart. <laughs> Uh, folks, you got to see my video. I did a video about my big ass RV. For those of you who don't know, uh, you go to my channel, you go to my playlists, and you find the playlist that is called So I Know You Like a Good Story. Go to that playlist, you'll find a video I did last spring around April called uh, The Big, it was a big story about my big ass RV. And, uh, you got to watch that story. It's an unbelievable story. The story is unbelievable. And we all talk about it from time to time. Those of you who've seen it have commented on this channel how unbelievable the story is. But that's as far as we'll go. You got to watch it for yourself from beginning to end to totally comprehend how unbelievable this story is about my big ass rv and tom can't stop thinking about it and i understand tom i totally get it alana is here hello bruce happy travel tuesday uh thank you alana welcome to the channel welcome to my chat folks alana has a channel on youtube she's approaching a thousand subscribers check her out she does cruise ship videos and other videos check her out uh, we are talking about maybe putting something together Maybe we can do some kind of a collaboration or, well, I'll be on her, sh a, a live show that she hosts. She might be on the live show. I'm hosting. We are scheming and we'll see what we can put together. Ryan XD, first cruise, Carnival Freedom 2017 during Hurricane Harvey, stuck at sea, couldn't, couldn't go back to the port of Galveston, which had been closed. Seven day cruise turned into a free 13 day cruise. What's wrong with that? Thank you very much. Two weeks in one. Nice deal. Way to go. Debbie Manuel Thomas, I was late today. Biggest RV video. Do I need to rewatch the beginning of today's show? Uh, no, Debbie. Uh, he's just talking about the big SRV video. It, it's all good. I know you've seen it. Paul Wilgus, did you see the video that uh, Cruising with Wheels posted today about the fire that happened in the buffet while they were on the getaway in November? Uh, no, I hadn't uh, hadn't caught it. Uh, but if any of you guys check it out, uh, let me know. Uh, Vivian, um, yes, Paul, that was scary. Uh, Alana, Remember to give the Bruce a thumbs up uh, for our host. Thank you, Alana, so much. Debbie, uh, Paul, Paul Henry, uh, Tom Henry, uh, Debbie Emanuel, not today's video. It was an old video from last April. Uh, Jack IS is here. Jack is, is here. Hey, he's saying hi there, Jack. Tom Henry, uh, it was a very entertaining video, Debbie. He's saying it was very entertaining. Uh, Juan, uh, Debbie, go watch that video, Big SRV. Bruce is a genius. That's all I'm going to say. He's, he's just a genius. Uh, Alana, uh, cruise countdown is four days. Scrambling to finish my vlogs from the last cruise. Woohoo! Way to go, Alana. Way to go. Tell us what cruise ship are you going on? What cruise like? Where are you headed? Tell us. Uh, let us know if you can. Debbie, uh, I did see Cruising with Wheels video this morning. Paul was entertaining and kind of scary. Uh, is it bad that it made me hungry? <laughs> I guess. Tom Henry, Randy, and Michelle say they are flying to Las Vegas and will be there two weeks. Wonder if they will rebuild. I would avoid California personally. 
Juan Catalina, that that is cruising with wheels. Uh, Debbie Manuel, uh, no, uh, Juan is wondering what is CWW? Uh, CWW is a channel on YouTube called Cruising with Wheels, and there are two guys on there, uh, Kevin and Frank, uh, that do uh, videos about cruising and their experiences, and uh, they've been doing it for a while. And if you get a chance, Juan, get over there and check out Cruising with Wheels channel, and uh, you can check out their videos about their cruises. Absolutely. I've done a collaboration video with them before, and uh, and we had a lot of fun. Debbie Manuel, oh, that April uh, video, uh, watch that live one. Yeah, watch that one live, she's saying. Paul Lugas, Debbie Manuel, I was thinking the same thing. I was getting hungry, then thinking of all that food that had to be thrown away. That's too bad. Henry, the only thing I thought, Paul Lugas and Debbie Manuel, uh, Jack Jack I is saying goodbye now. He came and said hi, goodbye. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Paul, wondered how long to restock that buffet afterwards, how long it took. Tom Henry was when they did the staff drill. They're leaving the ship, abandon ship, and leave the passengers on it. Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, true Debbie. Uh, Tom Henry, hi Gregory, missed your entrance. Uh, Tom Henry, the Dawn and Star Suites have a very comfortable bed. We may have trouble getting Paul awake. <laughs> Jim Thomas, uh, glad you got back safely from your uh, travels. Uh, thank you, uh, Jim. Uh, Alana, my first ever cruise with Carnival Liberty, two thousand or two or so. She is saying, Paul Wilgus, haha, Tom. Nope, on a cruise. We'll be up and doing things while you work. Laugh out loud. Juan, um, yay, this show is going to be more than an hour. Tom Henry, our first cruise was April 2012 on the NCL Jewel, our first ever trip through the Panama Canal. Fantastic, Tom. Debbie Manuel, hello, Clifford. Curtis Lee, I remember when they let you fish off the boat on Royal Caribbean. You used to be able to fish off the cruise ship. You can't do that anymore. Holy cow. Tom Henry, Curtis Lee, if you caught something, did they cook it for you? Alana, um, uh, Curtis Lee, wow, did you ever catch anything? Alan Carter, um, um, uh, first ship, the sun in 2001. That would be the Norwegian sun, I think. Jim Thomas, hello, Deborah. Alana, uh, Tom Henry, ha, same thought. But who wants to work for their food while on a cruise ship, though? Laughing out loud. Debbie, um, Double D, 747, a cruise line, a cruise line, um, favorite cruise line, question mark. Sorry, I can't read today. Alana, oh, thank you. I appreciate the support. Jim Thomas, you know, when I first started watching the uh, that April show, I thought you were going to tell us you got syndicated at the time, and then you kind of went to the, uh, to the into the RV laughing out loud. Uh, Jim, it was an incredible story. Uh, had so many twists and turns. You know, this, this big-ass RV video I've done, if you folks haven't seen it, you've got to go to my channel and find it from last April. You've got to watch it. It's really... It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, um, uh, Curtis Lee. Uh, no, just for fun. Um, we didn't. We didn't catch fish to eat. We just catch caught fish to catch fish and let them go. Uh, Atlanta uh, he headed on the Royal Caribbean, Independence of the Seas, headed to Labadee and Falmouth. Never been to those ports before. Fantastic, Atlanta. It's going to be a great time. Let us know how that cruise works out for you. One, uh, I will check them out. Double D, 747, 10, day, 10 days until my cruise on Carnival Spirit. Woohoo! right on, buddy. Way to go. Uh, Alana, double D, uh, yay, so soon. Have the best time. Double D, Alana, thanks so much. Hope you enjoy yours, too. Uh, yes, uh, the cruises are coming up for people, and they are going to be great. Uh, I would love to be on a cruise right now, but can't. I'm here in Creston. I'm working. I'm working this channel and having too much fun with you guys. Juan, Bruce, you made it. I've caught all the messages. I've caught up to all of you guys on the messages today. There was a lot of messages today. Uh, cheers to all of you. Need another drink. Um, the, from the cards to the gifts, uh, thank you very much from all of you for all of those. Uh, thank you uh, today, uh, uh, Peter Hekema, for your uh, donation on my uh, PayPal channel, on my PayPal donate button. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you, those of you who are picking up T-shirts from Traveling with Bruce. Thank you for that. Thank you for those of you who are sharing my videos on Facebook and watching them and giving them thumbs ups. Thank you for that today. Thirty six thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody, for thirty six thumbs ups today. Really appreciate it. I'm on again in uh, in less than uh, what is it? Less than two hours. One hour forty six minutes from now, I am back on the air for trivia Tuesday night live. Traveling with Bruce trivia show. I'm on tonight. I'm all ready to go. Looking forward to having fun with you guys on that one. I hope you can come by and see me. Um, Vivian, uh, eleven thirteen night night. All Atlanta. Did you generally have? Uh, did you generally have mail streams? She's asking. Did you have mail streams? Uh, Linda, Princess Double D, uh, Donnell, night all. Agnes, Sweet Dreams, Viv, Paul Lucas, night Viv. Uh, my favorite cruise line uh, so far has been Hall America. I really enjoyed it, but I've also enjoyed uh, Norwegian. 
I've been on Princess and enjoyed it too. Um, I, I haven't got a cruise line I hate. I'll tell you that. I haven't got one I don't like. So uh, I've had very good luck on cruise lines. But I want to see them all. I want to try them all and a whole bunch of new ships. So that will be uh, on my to-do list. And I'll keep you posted as I work that one over. Um, anyway, I will see you guys hopefully at 8 o'clock tonight Eastern time for tonight's live trivia show. Thank you for joining me. I'm on tomorrow at 5 Eastern as usual. And we will press ahead from there. Um, that should do it. I want to say thank you for joining me. January the 8th, 2019. We're at 8,821 subscribers. Heading to 10,000. It's fantastic. So exciting. And uh, we'll see what's going on. Alana saying goodnight, Bruce. Uh, Alana agreed. Got to try them all. Great stream. Thank you, Alana. Have a good one, everybody. We'll catch you in less than two hours if you're going to make the trivia show. Otherwise, we'll catch you tomorrow if we can. Okay, everybody. Talk to you later. Take care for now.